Homeowners along 1 St. Petersburg Street have a new unwelcome neighbor in the form of a pile of garbage packed six feet high. Things, he's been there more than a week at this point. Eight on your side, Pinellas County reporter Christy McClarty was called on to help, and she is joining us now live. I, I guess neighbors are just outraged at what's happening here. Yes, they are. And there's a saying that good fences make good neighbors. But this pile of trash, including Christmas decorations, not so much. And one of the things that has many most upset is the crumpled American flag on the ground. I'm pretty, you know, upset. This is my first house that I bought. Sean Killam wasn't happy when this trash pile popped up two doors down from his St. Petersburg home. In addition to couches, carpeting, and tables, he's worried about broken glass and nails. Killam thinks the home's new owner should clean up the mess. I feel like everybody kind of cares. You know, there's lots of new houses coming up, and then you have somebody that he doesn't care. He's just flipping the house, and it's all money to him. So Killam reached out to the city, but he says they haven't fixed the problem either. We didn't really get a response. It was just kind of like, um, we're looking into it, and then the next day was... We're looking into it. That's when Killam called eight on your side. Neighbors tell us a local construction company is working the site for the new owner. Hi, is this Tony? I spoke with Tony, who works with the company. He wouldn't give me his last name, but he promised to have his crew clean up the mess. Can we take your word for this, or is this something where we need to come back out here every day to keep checking on it to make sure it gets taken care of? A few hours later, these men showed up. Excuse me, can we chat with you for a second? They didn't want to talk and didn't clean up the mess, at least not yet. It's a mess. It's a mess. I mean, uh, uh, it's not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be have a big dumpster. City officials tell eight on your side they cited the house for a code violation and gave the owner 10 days to clean it up. But Sean Killam says that's 10 days too long. Every time a uh, you know four o'clock thunderstorm comes in, there's debris everywhere because it's just trash. Now, someone from the city sanitation department also came out today. The city tells us if this doesn't get cleaned up within 10 days, the sanitation department will clean it up and bill the owners. We'll stay on top of this and bring you the latest. Reporting live in St. Petersburg, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.